This is a 10 by 9 by 1 3 by 3 piston door and it's super super cool. It is very fast in the opening and it's pretty fast in the closing with some weird flashy blocks but nobody cares about that too much. But yeah, this door is actually pretty cool and here is it by itself with some cool audio. So let's actually begin building the door. For what you're going to need for actually building it is in this shulker box, I'm not even going to bother reading it because I have no time to waste because I want to be concise and get max watch time so I get this recommended. Cool. Now, what we have here is just all the redstone components, going to put them all in my inventory super fast. Look at me. I'm totally not using an auto clicker. And then we're going to build this door. So you're going to have three blocks going on the bottom right here, three blocks going on the side up like this, three blocks going to the left. On this side and another three on the bottom doing the same thing just like that then you want to grab your sticky pistons and place two facing downwards i did that by just placing a temporary block on top and you can then break that what you're going to do again is you're going to place two pistons facing the bottom block facing upwards and then you're going to put another sticky piston right here on the right side of your door so this is what it should look like right now now you're going to place pistons on the left side and right side of the door frame. So you're just going to put them going all the way up there. And the same for the other side. And by the way, these are all sticky pistons. I've not placed a regular piston yet. And there's only one in the build anyway. And I'll make sure you know when it is a regular piston. Now we're going to place a regular piston right... Where is that again? I forgot where it was. Oh yeah, right here. I'm going to place a regular piston right there. That's going to be for an observer. It's going to be facing up in this direction, which I'll just place. There you go. That's an observer right there. You're going to put a block on top of that observer, so a solid block for your redstone. Then you're going to put your input block on top, which I'm just going to grab my green wool. And then I'm going to put that right on the top and then a lever on top of it. And I'll show you how to move the input at the end of the video. Now on this side, you want to place a two tick repeater going outwards into, I think, a block. Yeah, a block. And then a piece of dust going right here and here. You're obviously going to put pieces of dust on both of those spots. And I'm pretty sure, actually, no, this block down here is not a block. Sorry, this is a sticky piston. You just want to make a sticky piston face downwards right here. So I guess temporary block and then sticky piston facing downwards right next to this four row of piston right here. Then a redstone dust on top of that. There you go. Now you want to place a redstone block on the bottom of that sticky piston, then a block under that redstone block. So I guess a block right here. And then there you go, that's what you want over there. You're gonna place another sticky piston redstone block on its face, going right under that block. And then you're going to get your regular piston, gonna make sure to emphasize that, a regular piston right next to the piston head if it's extended, so make sure to power that block. So place that right here next to that. Now what you wanna do is you wanna grab your removable object, removable object, can't even speak, put that under this three row of blocks right to the left of the door. This is gonna be an immovable block right here. Then we're going to place a redstone torch right next to this piston, so rather on top of the piston, so this is what it should look like right now. And then you're going to put an observer facing downwards under this block right here. So this is a block next to the sticky piston right here. You're going to just put an observer with the eyes upwards and then the little red dot facing downwards with, a, uh, I guess, a normal block under it. There you go. Now you want to go three blocks temporarily out from this bottom sticky piston, remove the first two blocks, and then put a hopper right in this position. So a hopper, oh my gosh, right here. I'm gonna make it face downwards because I'm totally, I'm the mentally pleased one and I need to make that facing downwards. So there you go, hopper there and an observer there. It doesn't matter which way it faces, I just wanted it to look downwards. And then you're going to put a repeater on top of this hopper and then a block here and here. That's pretty much everything for the bottom. You have nothing left for the bottom, which is pretty cool. Now we're just going to, if I'm correct, just grab a four tick repeater, have that going into this block right here. So just place a block next to that observer and then a four tick repeater going into this block. And then that's pretty much gonna be perfectly timed with this observer and do some cool stuff. Don't worry, I'll explain it later. And also you just wanna power this piston quickly and attract that block to this position. What you wanna do on this side is you wanna put a block next to the top sticky piston, then a redstone dust on top of that block. Next to that, you're going to place a dropper facing any which direction, it doesn't matter. You just want to make sure it's next to the redstone dust, like that. Don't place three like I did. Just put a temporary block under it, which we're going to do anyway. Just an observer facing down right there into a block, and there's going to be a redstone dust right on this door block right here. So do make sure your door blocks are solid, or else some parts of your door are not going to work. 
Now you're going to place an observer facing in towards this block right here. So the eyes are going to be facing this direction, or at least from this direction. Then you're going to put a four tick repeater right here. I do believe that's four ticks, right? Yeah, it is four ticks. Okay, I know the rest of the door. Don't worry. Then you're going to put a two tick repeater right next to this dropper. So right here. And then you're going to place a block right there. And then you're going to have a sticky piston facing down right here. Ah, can't do anything. So you're going to have a sticky piston with a redstone block on its face. And actually did it differently. So, you know, just move that block downwards and put a redstone dust on top of it. There's several ways to do that top bit, but I don't really want to differ from this. So just put a block on top of that sticky piston and redstone dust on top. Now you want to grab another solid block, put it next to this bottom sticky piston, then a redstone dust on top of that. Then you want to grab a normal sticky piston. I don't know why I said normal sticky piston. Put that under this block right here on the left side of the door. Then put an observer right here. Quite literally, your door is finished. I'm pretty sure I could make it a little bit cheaper on this side. When I was making it, I realized I could just take observer updates from places. But that's not important because it's too late to change anything. All you want to do now to fix your door up is just update this observer. So just do anything with it. And then your door is going to completely close. There you go. Now you just want to open it and make sure everything works. And there you go. It works perfectly. And that opening is rapid. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. That's actually a really good opening sequence. Oh my gosh. Oh, you thought I was done. Aha! Aha! Very funny. I told you I would explain the door. So for those of you who don't know anything about redstone and want to learn more about the door, then stick around. I'm going to explain how this door works block for block. Well, we're gonna start with the input. So we are going to power this lever, and what's gonna happen first is that this piston's gonna extend, this dust is going to power, powering this dropper, and that's pretty much just the first thing that happens. Afterwards, we're gonna have two ticks later, this repeater is going to, ex or rather, power, powering this redstone dust, powering this sticky piston with the redstone block. So at the same time, this two tick repeater is going to power, and this observer is going to power this block right here, powering this redstone dust, giving us some flashy parts, which is what we see in the closing. Now what's also going to happen is this redstone box is going to go down, as well as this one, depowering this piston, which gives us an observer update, which isn't useful in the closing, and also powering this block and this block, which means these three pistons, or rather these six pistons, close at the exact same time. Now what you're going to have are these both pistons, both of these pistons, pushing at the exact same time as well, and then you're going to have this piston powering, well rather this observer powering this block, powering the hopper next to it, which powers the observer next to the hopper, which powers this piston, which gives us a one tick pulse, which pretty much just means this block is moved to here. After that, since we have an immovable block here, nothing's going to happen prior to that. Then after that happens, this piston's going to extend, so that extends, and then an observer under it just powers this piston again, so this block would just be here. And yeah, pretty much that's happening, so pretty much that would happen, and then that block would go in that position. So we're just going to do that by flicking the lever. Okay, we don't want that to happen. We're going to flick the lever, and then we're going to see the whole door opening, or rather closing like it should. So you can see that pretty much just does that. And that's the whole entire thing. By the way, this over here is just called soft inversion. This pretty much when the piston's powered, the torch on it inverts. And that's pretty useful in this situation because we can make this door a lot smaller than it would be without. For the opening, then we have to do some weird different things. So we have this four tick repeater powering this block, which leaves this piston extended for a little bit longer than it would normally be. At the same time, this is going to be depowered, which gives us another observer update, which is going to power this block right here, which then powers this redstone dust right here, which makes this piston do a one tick pulse, something like this, like that. And I'm going to put the blocks back just for the sake of the door being kept in its prime position. I don't know what I'm saying. But then this repeater is going to run out. And actually, if we didn't have this piston set up right here, the door would be unreliable and it would not always open up fully. So what we have here is this piston extends with this block on its face at the exact right time to make this observer update this block or rather power this block right as this is about to depower. So this piston is extended for one more tick rather than de-extending and re-extending, which then means we can do the whole door properly and we don't have any weird things happening. So after this part retracts, then we have this activated by this four tick repeater, which just powers this block which, and this dust, which means this piston just grabs the block under it. And it does need to be a four tick repeater because we need an appropriate amount of delay for the piston to actually extend. And for the bottom, pretty simple. What we have here is this piston retracts at the exact right time when this block goes down to just take it back as soon as possible. And then right after that, this piston extends 
which takes the block that would be in this position. So pretty much this is what happens. This block is moved and then this block is one tick pulsed down. And we can see that happening right here. We have this piston extending first after a little bit of time. So this piston right here is going to extend right there after a little bit of time, which is not really a little at this point. Okay, there we go. So that extends and this piston retracts. There you go. And then this block kept it extended for a little bit more. Then that retracts after a little bit of time. Then this observer powers this block while this extends and then this gets powered and then retracts the block right there. And I can make the game quicker again. So just go back to random tick speed, put that back to nothing or rather one. And there we go. Our door is proper again. So you can see the full closing and then the full opening. And oh my gosh, it's such an explanation for a three by three piston door, but this piston door actually took a little bit of time. So if you are new, make sure to subscribe because I put too much effort into this three by three piston door video. So I call it the best because it is the best for real with the amount of effort I put into it. Also, if you're here just for the tutorial, make sure to check out some of my other videos. I have things like Flappy Bird in Minecraft, Connects 4 in Minecraft, and I'm also in the process of making Pac-Man in Minecraft with a bunch of AI stuff. It's gonna be really cool, but it won't really be that cool if you don't look at it. So make sure to sub because I like sub. Thank you.